Are you dealing with that pain between your shoulder blades? Can you stand up and look at yourself from the side in the mirror? It seems like you have a hump back back there. Today, we're gonna talk about why that's happening, what could be causing it, and give you three good things you can do at home that can stop it just like that. Welcome back to the Muscle Repair Shop. Today, we're gonna talk about that nagging mid-back pain. And I know for some of you, you're starting to get a little bit of a hump back, the shoulders are rounding in, and man, by the end of the day, by the back of the neck and down between the shoulder blades can be just atrocious with the pain. And I know for some of you, even laying flat on your back while in bed can be a problem. So today we want to talk about what's causing that. Why do some of the traditional treatments fail? And then I'm going to give you three things that you can do at home that can alleviate that in a hurry. So let's get right into it. So what's causing that? So when you look at the muscles in the mid back, you've got muscles that are coming from the spine out towards the shoulder blades. You've got muscles coming from the base of your skull down until the top part of the shoulder blades and out into the shoulders. Most of you know about the traps. The traps are the muscles that you see right up here. What happens is that during our day, the things we're doing or 90% we do in front of us. Rarely do we look up or work behind us. Everything's out in front of us. So the muscles on the front side here and the muscles on the front of the neck will start to tighten. But as they do, the shoulders start to round. And as they round, the head starts to come forward. Now your head weighs about 10 to 12 pounds sitting on top of your shoulder. However, Every inch your head leans in front of your chest, the pressure on the back side of your neck and down between the shoulder blades into that mid back increases by 10 pounds per inch. So if you're sitting in front of a computer or you're looking all day down at your phone, what's going to happen is you're going to have as much as 40 pounds of pressure between your shoulder blades on your mid back. And that's where a lot of that pain comes from. Now, when you're looking at that over time, what will happen is that can lead to pinched nerves, bulging disc, herniated disc, disc degeneration, osteoarthritis. All those things can begin to happen just because of the poor posture as you're sitting looking at a computer all day or as you're walking, even walking and you're, you're looking downward all the time, you're increasing that pressure on the mid part of your back. Now, sometimes that can come from sports injuries. It can come from car accidents. Uh, that can cause those things to happen as well. But the thing to keep in mind is that when you have a problem with the back, most people want to treat the back. And in this particular case, as well as with the low back, like I've talked in other videos, in this particular case, the cause of the problem is not on the back side. That is the symptom. The cause of the problem is on the front side, the outside chest muscles, the front of the neck muscles up here. As they start to tighten, again, the body, the shoulders start to round in, the head starts to come forward. Even the way you walk, if you're walking, and you'll see other videos about walking and your feet and your calves, but even the way you're walking, if you're wearing thick sole shoes and your ankles aren't bending very well, the shoes can't bend at the arch of your foot, that by itself can create and cause that to happen too. So let's take a look at the treatments, traditional treatments for this. You'll see people that'll give you braces where they're gonna pull your shoulders back or they're gonna have you doing exercise to strengthen your back. And remember I said, when you have back pain, everybody wants to go to the back, okay? Then you can have injections, you can have surgeries, you can get chiropractic adjustments, you can go get massage therapy. All of these things work well on the short term. But the problem is, is that it's short term. And it's like, no matter how good the practitioner is, you are getting in the way because no one's talking to you about your posture. No one's talking to you about the front side of your body. So if you don't know what to do, all that good money that is spent, all that expertise that you're being a part of, when they're trying to help you because you don't know what to do in between those visits, you actually negate the work they're doing because you go back to doing what you've been doing that got you in trouble to begin with. Seems almost like a riddle, doesn't it? But the truth of the matter is, is that you want to understand what to do for yourself at home so that you can do this every day. 
couple times a day. I typically, when I do my stretch and release technique, I'll do it first thing in the morning, last thing of the day. But you want to be able to do this in between the visits. And what you'll find is that their work will get better as well for you. And, and, and as you learn how to do it, of course, you'll eventually figure out you don't really need them either. Because once you loosen up here, once you loosen up here and get where you can stand up straight, strengthening your abs, stretching out your chest and so forth, what happens then is that you start to realize that pain goes away. And that's what we want to address today. So about the stretch and release technique, there's two stretches that I've found have helped a lot for most people. And those stretches are the outside chest muscle here, what's called the pec minor right into here. In other words, if you lift your arm up like mine, catch here right by your armpit, you can feel that muscle going from your chest out to your arm. That's called the pec minor. That muscle there will actually cause the shoulder to pull in. And even if you try to lay back on your back, if it's as tight, you'll notice your arm can't lay flat on the bed. That's gonna cause pain on the backside. It's never gonna hurt here. It's gonna hurt on the backside. So the way you do that stretch is that you'll get into a doorway You'll put your hand behind your head. Now, in my case, I'm using my right arm. So I would turn my body to the left here and I start to stretch out. I'm going to breathe out here and hold that for just five seconds. And I'll put a description to a, a full video on that down below in the description itself. So once you do that and, and you'll do both sides, I would do that every morning and at least every evening. You could do it as much as you want because you're not pulling it like taffy. That's a mistake. The other thing that I would do is, and this one I do probably three or four times a day, I just catch my chin underneath the palms of my hand, feel the weight of my head here because I want to stretch the muscles on the front of my neck. And I'm just going to breathe out, lift my head up like this, hold for the five seconds, now, when I do this, I prefer you do it on a, in a chair because the chair will prevent you from going back. We talked about that in an earlier video. But what we want is I want you to be able to work at stretching the muscles out here so that when you look up, you actually can look up to the ceiling by lifting your head up. Those two stretches alone will probably take you out of at least 80% of the pain that you're feeling now. But again, this is an everyday thing for the rest of your life. Okay, think about a dog or a cat. A dog or a cat stretches every day, several times a day. If you have a pet, watch them. And every time they stretch, you stretch. Let them remind you to do your stretches. But they do it every day and it's an innate thing. And for some reason for humans, it's really not. But we're not pulling taffy. We're breathing out as we're stretching and we're allowing the muscles to just release. That's all we're doing. All stretching is, is releasing the tension. Now, the third thing, because I told you there was three things. Take a tennis ball, put it on the sock. And I know what you're going to ask me in comments. Do I need, can I use a cue ball? Can I use a lacrosse ball? Can I use a spiky ball? Or, or whatever the case may be. No. Get a tennis ball. They're cheap. Get one. If you know a tennis player, they've got old ones. They'll give you one. Put it in a sock. And you're going to lean against the wall. And what you're going to do is throw it over your shoulder, leaning against the wall and allowing the body then to relax. We're not going to roll on it. That, that's, let me make that clear. You're not going to roll on it. All you're doing is you're checking spot to spot. And by doing that, what happens is that you start to release the muscles in the back that have been holding so tight because everything here is tight. And again, I'll have a description to the neck stretch. I'll have a description to the chest stretch and the tennis ball massage down below. You can click on a link there, go right to the video, and it'll show you completely what to do. Um, and we'll go from there. So do this, like I said, a minimal morning and night so you get the pain to stop. Once the pain stops, you could get away with doing it once a day. But I'm saying it is a consistently everyday thing. Stretching is not work. Most people who talk to, us, talk to us about stretching is they want us to pull as hard as we can and you hold for 15, 20, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, and you're pulling and pulling and pulling. And the, the mindset is that I'm pulling my muscles to make them longer. 
you're not doing that. The muscles are attached on both ends. It won't get any longer. What you're doing is you're releasing tension in the muscle by releasing the tension in your mind, breathing out. You can't be talking to a friend while you're stretching. You can't be thinking about what you're gonna do. Relax, learn to relax, slow down the thoughts in your head, release the tension in your body, and your back pain will go away just like that. I hope most of my clients laugh because they start to figure out that half of what they're dealing with in their pain for muscles is as much in their head as it is in the muscle itself. And that is really true. So give it a shot, give it a try. Have any questions, please leave me some comments. Be happy to help you with that. And again, I'll have the descriptions down below. Make sure if you haven't subscribed, please do me a favor. Be sure to subscribe so that you can get the next videos. They keep coming out each week. And I want to announce that on September the 1st, my book is going to be published and available on Amazon. We'll be sending out some things for pre-sales in August. So I'll be sure to tell you about that as that time comes along. So make sure you subscribe, ring that bell so that you can get notifications when a new video or a new thing comes out from me. And be sure to comment because I always love to hear your comments. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this last video. Be sure to click on the video here to my left and enjoy.